Hey guys, gonna show you how to assemble Baka Pro 2 seater sofa bed. That's the one here. Let's do it now. starting with the side panels so we're gonna have two side panels in each of them have a two screws in just secure them uh, you don't need any screwdriver for this one just um, place them in secure with the hands exactly the same on the other one at the side panel so two screws the shorter side coming in those screws are without the head just secure them firmly that's the left and that's the right side we can put it up and uh, bring in bring the dividing panel the back panel just find the holes and secure the screws put one washer in and then secure it there is a key which ikea provides just a secure um, the side panels with the um, with the middle panel legs two plastic legs there is no screws or anything on this one just uh, place them in use hammer not your hands <laughs> you can see that okay another side panel just place it in two screws in uh, through the back panel washer and secure it secure it with a key make sure this is properly uh, tied up so you're not gonna have any wobbly so far at the end and the plastic legs of course don't use your hand and we can put it down on the legs now the whole frame so we get two side panels on the back panel this is the um, middle panel basically the the part which is gonna be holding the opening mechanism so just slide it in uh, between the panels uh, raise the one side up there is two screws so secure the first one and on the other side you can secure the back one see on one side it was the front and back one just that just to hold all these constructions up and then we can put uh, the other screw so we're gonna have four screws, two on each side, holding this uh, metal frame. Let's place the screws in. So we have all four of them in there. Um, two on each side. You can do it with the, with the key which I can provide, or if you have electric screwdriver with the proper head, it just uh, secure this faster. Once you do it with the electric screwdriver, just um, finish it with the key, so you uh, you know the screw is tied up properly. The opening mechanism, the small storage space, you see how it works here, it's kind of arrow in there, so once you lift it up it holds, when you lift it up again it's gonna go down. So this is the, this is the small storage under um, the front. This was a nightmare to fit in all those um, uh, rubbers or plastics around. It was going so bad inside that I have such a hard time. So then I find out if you just um, open them up slightly with a screwdriver, with a flat screw, screwdriver, it is open a little bit and it, it can get in easier. But um, this was um, not very nice part to fit. So just be patient here, don't go uh, hard on it. Um, if you need to do whatever I did here and it's much easier to put that in. There it is, that's the small storage. And we, this is the second part, this is two, two parts joined together. We put it upside down for now and this is the opening mechanism. It's gonna be at the at back of the extension. The security with the two screws Bear in mind, this is the bottom. We're gonna have four legs, two shorter, two longer. The shorter one's gonna go on the middle and we secure them with the two screws. Just secure them firmly, one on one side, another one on another side. Exactly the same here. This is the other side on the middle, the shorter leg. And this is the front, that's gonna be the longer legs gonna be one on each side 
secure it exactly the same as the middle one with the two screws front panel is going to secure uh, this panel uh, through the frame with the four screws now everything is pre-drilled so you don't need to worry just find out the right holes and secure the four screws in that's the last one there we go all secured we can put it upside down now the whole frame and we can slide it in into the into the one we did already with the storage so watch out how you're gonna put it just put it up and uh, don't forget to put the storage part down and slide the opening mechanic opening frame in there is a two holes at the beginning of the frame you see there we go just slide uh, the second part in exactly the same on the other side just watch out where is the hole and it's gonna just slide in that's very supposed to be there it is that's the other side and just slide the whole frame in so when you open it up it's closed this is how it works it's just like a small hook so when you when you're sliding that in it's pushed so it opens up and allow the whole things come in see there it is it opens up and slide and you can slide it all in and that's how it works when you close when you open it up you just pull the string up and you can open the whole things once the op uh, the storage uh, is open you're not going to be able to slide everything in so just close the storage and you can slide the sofa in and we can put the mat this is just covering the slats so one uh, screw on one side just hook it up and one on the other side and then we can start with the sofa covers first on one side then the middle part we leave, we're gonna put it up but not completely in so we leave it a little bit up so we're gonna be able to slide the last part in this is the hardest part so watch out don't break the corners just slide it in slowly that's why we didn't put the middle part completely in so we're not gonna have a very hard time when we're putting the the third side in so just make sure the side is in and now we can pull the middle part in just slide it down make sure everything is nice and smart so once you're completely in especially check out the corners you're gonna see the corner of the of the cover is right on the corner of the sofa so that's where it's supposed to be and then you can uh, just close it all in with the velcro all around there you go all sides make sure everything is um, tied up so that's how it's supposed to look it's nice and stretch all over pillows uh, watch out how you do this don't break the corners but it's especially where is the zips is a bit wobbly so just fold the pillow down and uh, press the cushion in don't put too much pressure on the zip as this is very easy um, to break even the fabric is strong but the zip at the beginning and at the end is um, the connection is not that strong there so just fold the cushion and press it slowly in okay the cushions are done just zip the top part there it is this is gonna be um, the mattresses for the um, for the for the sofa bed so we're gonna have two slim ones this is the cover for it so we open one side and slide one of the covers in there it is just find the corners one side another side slide it in and zip it all around first one is the fabric fabric part And this is the other other side. See, this one is all white. There is no fabric. So just open it up, unzip it, open it up, put the put the mattress in, place it on the corner, and uh, just zip it all around. So that's how it is. It's, this mattress is folded when it's when the sofa bed is closed. When you open it, there we go. And you can hook the, hook the mattresses on the exact uh, place where you hook the mat, uh, which is covering the slats. One on one side, another one on another side. And we can close the whole thing in. This is the last cover for the front panel of the Baka Brosofa bed. That's the one. Yeah, just find the corners first and then uh, cover the edges. 
and that's it that's how the sofa look like that's how we open it that's how it is two cushions that's how we open and pull the strings just pull it out open the mattresses put the pillows in that's the front part there is the hole with the with the, with the storage just open it up and you can zip it on the top i didn't zip it at this time just showing you how to do it so you fold the front cover close the mattresses open the storage and just close the sofa and this is the ikea bakabro sofa bed assembly hope you enjoy it if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always it will made my day and check out the review on the same sofa bed thank you for watching have a fantastic day bit funny on your back you kind of feel like you in the hole at the back not i would not recommend to sleep